In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to graph an inequality. Here's a question for you. How do you know when to use a closed circle or an open circle when graphing inequalities? I hope you know that you use a closed circle, which looks like a circle that's filled in, when the inequality is a greater than or equal to symbol, or a less than or equal to symbol, because it means that the number is part of the solution set. So let's take a look at this example. This inequality says y is less than or equal to 5. Remember that inequalities have two ways to express it. The other way is to say that 5 is greater than or equal to y. So when you graph this, you're going to use a closed circle, which looks like a circle that's filled in, and you're going to place it on the 5 on a number line. Remember, you're going to use a closed circle because the inequality is a greater than or equal to or a less than or equal to. Now, in order to determine the shading, you have to ask yourself, which side? Is it the 4 side or is it the 6 side? Which side is less than or equal to 5? Obviously, you should know that the left side of this number line is less than 5. As you know, number lines continue in both directions, so the numbers to the left of 5 would be 4, would be 3, 2, 1, as well as fractions and decimals, as well as negative numbers. Let's look at another example. We have negative 3 is less than or equal to w, and remember that the other way to express this inequality is to say w is greater than or equal to negative 3. So you're going to use a closed circle on negative 3, and you have to ask yourself which side, is it the negative 4 or the negative 2, that is greater than or equal to negative 3. Hopefully you should know that the numbers to the right of negative 3, such as negative 2, negative 1, 0, those numbers are greater than or equal to negative 3, and therefore the right side is shaded. 